if you click on this app delegate object down in this bottom pane there's an outlets tab now if you're on leopard and you're still on this connections tab you will see this outlet section here over in this window so follow these instructions just do it on the inspector back over in snow leopard though we have the outlets and you'll notice that there's our window outlet that was connected to the main window here click on the plus button to add a new outlet we're gonna name this outlet button I like to set the type for my outlets to the class that they're going to refer to the reason for this is if I clear this window outlet again I can demonstrate why why this matters if you'll notice the window outlet is set to ID ID is a generic object type it's much like object in C sharp and can refer to any type of object if I drag to connect this outlet you'll notice that I'm able to connect it to anything I want including files owner which is of type UI application this isn't very safe and it's not a very good declaration of intent. What's better is if we declare the actual type here for the outlet to the actual type that we're going to connect, Interface Builder will only allow us to connect that outlet to objects that correspond to that type. If I attempt to connect this UI button outlet, I'll be very disappointed because there's no button for me to connect it to and Interface Builder won't allow me to make this connection. So for type safety here, I'm going to actually just change this to UI window. We know that that's the correct class, so the outlet remains connected. Let's also create our outlet for the UI label that we'll be creating. Now that we have our outlets defined, let's add the button and the label to the form. Select the UI button from the objects in the library and drag and drop it onto the window. You'll get some resizing handles. It's fairly common for buttons to take up the full size so that they're easy to press and we'll just position it. If you double click on the button you can edit the text. So we will set this text to press to say hello and let's drag out our label now the label will contain some default text if we go back over to the inspector and click on the first tab which is the attributes tab we can set some properties on our object first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it so that it takes up the full width as well but I'm also going to center the text so over in the label attributes inspector we can click on the alignment and set it to center the other thing that I want to do here is I want to clear the text that's in the text property because I want the application to show no text when it starts up we want the text to be set to hello iPhone when the button is pressed so we will do that from code now we can now I can show you why we set this to why we set this dock window to list mode. If you expand the window, you'll see that the window now has two children. One is our UI button and the other is our UI label. When we're in icon mode, we won't see these. So we don't know that there's actually a nested hierarchy going on. So once again, I strongly advocate that you set this to list mode so that you can see that these things are going on. Later, when we have much more complex objects, there will be a huge tree here and it will be nice to be able to see it otherwise you won't know what's going on this is also helpful because our label is hard to see in this application since it doesn't have any text and when we connect the outlet it'll be easier to just connect it in the dock window speaking of that let's go back to our app delegate object and go to the connections inspector and hook up these outlets drag from the button outlet to the button to make this connection and drag from the label to the label either in the dock window or in the window if you can remember where it was and make that connection. At this point we've done everything that we need to do in Interface Builder to create this application so save the file either using command S or the 
save command underneath file. Heading back over to monodevelop, let's take a look at that main window.xib.designer.cs file. This file works as a sort of code behind for the interface builder file. When we saved the interface builder file, two properties were added to our app delegate called button and label. You'll remember that these were outlets that we created on the app delegate class in interface builder. The .NET type name will be button, but we've also added this attribute to this property that says connect button. What this does is says that there is an outlet in interface builder named button and it maps to this button property. So button, the C sharp property, maps to button, the interface builder outlet. That's this, the same is true for this window property and this label property. So essentially what we're saying is app delegate has three outlets, window, button, and label. And now that they're declared here on the partial class for app delegate, they will be visible to us in code. And that's exactly what we need now over in main.cs to make the interaction happen. There is a property, or rather an event, on the button object called touch up inside. What this means is when a person has pressed the button and the touch is released on that button, this event will, will fire. So let's create the code. There's code completion here. We want button touch up inside. And using C sharp delegate, we can declare what this event will do. So let's create our delegate. And inside the delegate, notice this is this is C sharp 3.0 syntax. It's it's very clean. It's very should be very familiar to you if you're a .NET programmer. Inside of here, we want to set the labels text property equal to hello iPhone. Believe it or not, at this point, we have implemented everything that we need to do. And there, if you're familiar with Objective C and Coco, and you've done any iPhone development, you'll notice that we haven't done any memory management whatsoever. Mono Touch has a garbage collection mechanism that will clean that up for us. You'll also notice that we haven't declared properties using synthesize and all that stuff from Objective C. Uh, we're just using standard C sharp .NET coding and we've mapped what we know about events and delegates to allow us to create a simple line of code that sets the text on the label to hello iPhone. If we build and run our application at this point it will launch in the iPhone simulator after it is done building. We should be able to verify that the operation is as we expect. There's our button that says press to say hello. And if we click, notice that I said it was touch up inside. So right now I'm holding the button down. And when I release, there's our text that says hello iPhone. I hope that this screencast has helped you get started with Mono Touch. In the screencast, we installed Mono, Mono Develop, and Mono Touch, and we created a Hello iPhone application. In the process, you were introduced to many of the core concepts in the application process and some of the key interface builder concepts that you will build on later in more advanced tutorials. If you find yourself needing help, you can head over to the IRC channel at irc.gnome.org and the channel is Pound Mono Touch. If you go to the monotouch.net website and click on support, I think you will find a web link to a web client if you do not know how to access IRC directly. Also, look for further screencasts at codesnack.com. Thank you for watching.